Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So today I got the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge over here with this annoying white line on the edge. But yeah, so there are still a lot of people who are using the S7 and the S7 Edge as their main phone. But the problem is that the, the S7 Edge came came out in 2016 and it has already got two major Android upgrades. So you won't have the latest Android version anymore on the S7 Edge because it won't receive Android 9 anymore, officially. Um, but there's still a way how you can get the latest Android version, the latest software on your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And if you want to know that, basically watch this video till the end. Right guys, so here I got the phone and as you can see I've already installed this ROM. So I'm going to split this video into two parts as always. So in the first part we are going to take a short look on this ROM here which I've installed already which is Android 9. And then we're going to install this Android 9 ROM on our S7 Edge or on your S7 uh, on your S7 flat. Right guys, so this here is the ROM, so as you can see the home screen does not look that different. So you get, uh, you got some uh, new icons there, the new notification panel is there and so on. So these are all the apps which are inst uh, which are pre-installed on the Android uh, Pi ROM on Lineage OS 16. So you get your settings, you get your um, normal record app, you can record your screen and you can also record the sound only. Uh, you have also got your phone app, of course, your music app, messaging app, gallery, files app, email, contacts, clock, camera, calendar, calculator, and the standard browser, which I personally never use. So the nice thing here is that everything which you see over here is working fine. So the camera um, is not the best one, and you cannot expect to get the best camera experience on any AOSP ROM. So, um, but it will work fine and enough so you can take some normal pictures so what do i have here i got an s8 here for example and let's take a picture of this phone here so you can here you can see that the picture um is quite okay so it is not the best picture I have taken with the S7 Edge here, but as you can see, it's quite sharp and the colors are quite okay. It's it seems to be a little bit darker, so it uh, struggles a little bit with um, dark if you have if you are if you have bad light conditions, but um, it's still okay. And the video recording should also work. So let's check this here video. And as you can see, you can also record videos. And here we have the video. So video recording is also working. The camera is okay. It's not the best one, but it works. Um, the normal browser here is a normal Android browser and you also get your tabs in the recent apps section as I know. So I personally don't like this browser, but you can also install the gapps and install Chrome instead. The calculator is still the same calculator, just like an Android lollipop. Then you got your calendar, which uh, is a calendar from Android KitKat. So it has got a really, really old calendar, but you can still install the gapps and install the latest Google Calendar from the Play Store. Um, then we have the Clock app, which is also still the same, the Contacts app, Email app, Files, etc. So, um, let's go to the settings here, or, or let's go to the notification panel first. So you can see that the notification panel has also got a redesign here. Um, the, uh, the corners are more rounded, as you can see, and now you have a big black bar at the top for phones which have a notch. Um, Right, you can pull down the notification panel twice, as you can see, and it looks quite similar from uh, what you get on other Android versions. But here you have something which is really, really bad. It's that you don't have submenus anymore. So you can turn on or turn off the Wi-Fi, but you cannot go to the Wi-Fi submenu. So on Android Oreo or on all other Android versions until Android 5.1, you are able to select your Wi-Fi connection or your Wi-Fi net, wi network directly from this notification panel, and they've basically removed this feature from here. Also, you need to pull down twice in order to go to this, uh, to be able to go to the settings shortcut. Right now, let's go to the settings here. So you can see that the settings uh, has also got a small redesign here. 
it looks a little bit more like on uh, TouchWiz, if you ask me. So it, um, they gave the uh, the icons colors, as you can see here, and the um, categories are also cleaned now, just like an Android uh, Oreo. So now you got your network and connections thing over there, and here we have Wi-Fi, for example. So they are different categories. And as you can see, it also has a new animation when you go to submenus. This is something which I really like on Android Pie. But now let's go to system and then to about phone. Um, so here you can see that the Android version is Android 9. So let's press on there. And here we have the Android 9 Easter egg. Right. Um, this here is the new recent app section of Android Pie. So this is also something which I personally don't like because, you know, it's way too simple. And you can only see one app. Um, I mean, in Android Oreo, you were able to see different apps listed. And now you have only one app per page and you need to scroll in order to know which app is on the left or on the right. So it's it's a little bit harder to use than uh, the recent app section of Android Oreo. Also, you got some apps at the bottom, which I personally also never use on the recent app section. On the left side, you got your close all button. Right. So this is the interface of Android Oreo. Um, talking about the performance, you won't get the best performance on this ROM because this is not well optimized yet, but I'm sure that the developers will uh, make this ROM better and better and your performance will also increase with time um, or with the new updates for this ROM. So in general, everything is working. The SIM card is working, Bluetooth is working, Wi-Fi is working, camera is working and so on. Of course, you can face some small bugs here and there. But, um, I mean, this shouldn't be a big problem um, because all AOSP bugs have some bugs here and there. Right, guys, so this here was a small um, review part. Now let's go to the installation part. So to install this ROM, there are a couple of things which you need to do first. So first of all, you will need to download this ROM, of course. You can download the ROM from the description of this video. And you also need to have TWRP installed on your device. If you haven't done that already, there are a lot of different videos on YouTube showing you how to install TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. So these are the two requirements which you need in order to install Android Pie on your Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. After we have done that, um, you will need to power off your phone, so let's do that quickly. Then you will need to press the uh, volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time in order to go to the TWRP recovery. And you will need to release these buttons when you see this logo over here. Right guys, here we are in the TWRP section, so if TWRP asks you to get permissions to allow modifications, basically swipe here and yeah. Then go to the wipe section and do a normal factory set. Go back, go to the install section and locate your ROM where you have stored it. So in my case it's in the internal storage, press it and... Um, and locate your ROM. So this here is the ROM file, it's called lineage 16.1. Um, so this is Android Pie, press on it and swipe to flash. So this process could take like one or two minutes, you just need to wait until it's finished. So as you can see the installation process is finished now. So if you want to have um, or if you want to get the Google Play Store also, you will also need to download the G apps and install the G apps in the same way we have installed the ROM. You can also download the G apps from the description of this video. So you will need the G apps in order to have the Play Store. Right guys, so after this is finished, you can uh, go back and wipe your um, wipe your data again. So just do a normal factory reset. So this uh, is not needed, but you can do it anyway. After we have done that, you can reboot to the system. And if TWRP asks you to install a TWRP app, say do not install. So now the phone will boot up and um, this process here could take like uh, three or four minutes. You just need to wait until it's finished. Guys, 
so here we go so this is lineage os android um six uh, android 9.0 on the samsung galaxy s7 edge this here is the introduction menu just follow my uh, steps here press on next here select your language i will leave it as this press on next again set your time zone press next again um, then you can connect to your Wi-Fi, but I will skip this now. Press on next. Um, here you can turn on your cellular data if you want to. Um, press next after you have done that. Here uh, I would uh, turn off the location service. Press next again. And here you can select if you want to um, help Lineage OS. Here you can also enable your navigation keys at the bottom here and so on. So let's enable this one, press next again. Here you can um, use your fingerprint. So let's do this. Let's see if it's working or not. Um, say next. Let's set in pattern first. And here we go. So it should work. And as, key, as you can see, it works just fine. Let's say next, let's say skip, and here we go. So this here is, um, come on, and yeah guys, so here we go. There was a small problem with uh, the screen. Um, yeah, so this here is Android P on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner is also working uh, quite fine here. And here we also have our um, navigation keys at the bottom and unfortunately these are not the uh, gesture buttons but i'm quite sure that we will also get the uh, gesture things on lineage os uh, with time and yeah this should be it if you liked this video guys give a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give it a dislike as always and if you have if you want uh, different videos please tell me that in the um, comment section down below i will try to make a video about different phones, different drums and so on. And yeah, peace out.